President William Ruto says the government will not give up on the housing tax and will again amend the law to align the tax to the constitution. The president said in just one year, the affordable housing program has yielded thousands of jobs in the country and that the ruling today will not dampen the plans. Stephen Latour reports. A three-judge bench has punctured the affordable housing plan, throwing President William Ruto's housing pillar into disarray. A three-judge bench at the High Court ruled that the housing levy of 1.5% is unconstitutional. But President William Ruto was quick to set the record straight as several employees had begun to celebrate the win at the High Court. I know the court have said we should go and readjust the law to make it aligned appropriately. That we are going to do so that the 120,000 people can become 200,000 and can become 500,000 in the next five years. Because if we don't engage these people in productive work, they will become a very big challenge to all of us. According to President Ruto, all is not lost on the housing tax and focus will shift to the National Assembly to streamline the levy and make it consistent with the Constitution. Ruto saying the affordable housing program is critical in addressing the unemployment crisis in the country. Judges Lawrence Mugambi, Kristen Meoli and David Majanja ruled that the introduction of the housing levy was discriminatory since it imposed taxes on salaried Kenyans alone and excluded those working in the informal sector. The judges noted that the introduction of the housing tax lacked a comprehensive legal framework in violation of Article 10, 201 of the Constitution. I am aware that people have gone to court to try to suspend the housing levy and to sabotage the housing program. Much as we respect the independence of the judiciary, I want to request our judges to exercise judicial discretion and not sabotage that program. The deputy president, while speaking on Tuesday, when he officially opened the 17th annual Kenya Institute of Planners Conference in Kuala County, highlighted that despite layers of taxes on Kenyans, the housing levy is enabling the government to build houses in large quantities to elevate Kenya's housing shortage. That program will dignify the people of Kenya. It is the desire of every Kenyan who live in an urban center to own a home one day. Shelter is a constitutional requirement. We want Kenyans to have shelter. President William Ruto has already commissioned several housing projects across the country and the executive has until January next year to align the housing levy with the constitution or forget it. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.